Hey guys, I'm Quick Graphics, and we're gonna be color correcting some animation footage in Photoshop. So I know it seems a little weird to do footage color correction in Photoshop because we have programs like Adobe Premiere Pro and also Adobe After Effects to do that for us. But one thing I noticed is that a lot of the graphics guys on YouTube they mainly use Adobe Photoshop for just about every single thing that they do, even when it comes to logo making, which I don't exactly condone of using Photoshop for logo making. But nevertheless, we can import video footage into Adobe Photoshop and we can also color correct it. And the best thing about Adobe Photoshop color correction is that when we go to color correct, there's something that we can do in Photoshop that we cannot do in Adobe Premiere Pro nor in After Effects. So getting right into it, let's go ahead and bring a video in here. So video layers, gonna import one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some frames that I did for an intro just to show you guys exactly how this works out. Now you can import a regular video into a Photoshop, but you just have to make sure that it's compatible with it, otherwise it's not going to import. Alright, and there is our little animation that I made. And this is a result that I got coming straight out of Cinema 4D, no post-processing whatsoever. And so, with the video file right here, you do not touch that. Just leave it as it is. Don't even bother with it. What we are going to want to do, though, is we're going to go to Layer. And then we would just color correct like how we would a regular image. But the thing that you cannot do in Adobe Premiere Pro nor in After Effects is Gradient Map. Which, I love this tool feature so much. So, I'm going to add a Gradient Map. Just hit OK. And now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, that looks pretty ugly. Well, it does look ugly. But we're going to change that. Set that to black and white. And I'll just hit X on that. Now, I can do whatever I want to it. Typically, when it comes to gradient maps, I'll put it on luminosity. And then I'll just adjust accordingly. Because for my intros, I don't know what it is, but I kind of like that dark feeling to it. I guess that's just my personal touch when it comes to it. Let's see, we can also work with the curves, brightness and contrast. We got some levels, so I'll add some of that in there. Uh, maybe increase the brightness slightly. And I like contrast. So a little bit. Now you can see with the brightness and contrast that's really bringing out this light right here. And which that's making me wonder why on earth didn't I do this in the first place? But oh well. The client liked it. I liked it. Everyone likes it, right? Let's see, what else can we add? Hue and saturation, color balance. I mean the possibilities when it comes to this are endless. It's all how you want to color correct it, really. So let's see. There's one more thing I can add to this, just for the fun of it. I'll add some curves, because everyone likes curves. If you don't like curves, then something's wrong with you. <laughs> so I can choose to make some areas lighter. Some areas darker. Whoa, that's making that pretty gray. And I would like it a nice balance between the two. So I just raise that up slightly, maybe. Or I'll just drag that. Nope. Ugh, that was looking really ugly. Let me just raise that somewhat. And I'll just put these 
a folder. So that's without color correction. That's with it. Without with. See, this is looking extremely dull right around here. Those blues look pretty grayed out. But for a color correction in Photoshop, you bring those out. And then you can add other things as well, like perhaps you want to add a vignette. So just new layer, grab our paint bucket, and then we're going to grab a gigantic obnoxious, obnoxious, obnoxious eraser. And just lower the fill or opacity completely up to you. Alrighty, and that is how you can color correct footage in Photoshop. I have been Core Graphics, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.